What is up, guys? This is the MMA Neighborhood. I'm Devin. And I am Steven. This, we are going over UFC 278, Usman versus Edwards 2, baby. Yeah. Yeah, so let's get into this. <laughs> <laughs> let's get into this nasty one, baby. Let's go. Yeah, this nasty one? Yeah, it's, I call it nasty because, you know, it's not the most stat card. It's a... It's it's just in the middle. It's hanging out. I mean, it's in the middle. It, I mean, you know, it's in the middle. Of some good ones, yeah. but it's not the great greatest one to to talk about. But I mean, Usman versus Edwards is a good, pretty solid fight. There is a couple solid fights, but to start the card, there really isn't much. Tyson Pedro, I believe, versus Tyson Harry Hunsucker. Hunsucker, yes. <laughs> I, like I can't speak much about it. You got anything to say on these two fighters, Steve? Not really. Um, besides Hunsucker, he's this is his third fight in the UFC. And he's lost the other f- first two. Damn. By Ty Tavasa and Justin Taffa. Damn. Yeah, I'm not even too sure why they're putting these guys on the show. Hey, review, but hopefully it starts yeah, off. So, starts off all so right. I'm just going to go for Tyson Pedro because obviously the other guy just don't got it. He keeps getting knocked the fuck out. <laughs> just show. Let's just, Pedro. just go on to the second fight. Marson, Marson Tibera Marson. versus Alexander Romanov. So there we Ooh. go. Marson Tibera is always a good uh, fighter to watch. I mean, yeah, he's he, puts chill. It, he puts it on for a heavyweight. He's chill. He's, you know, he did lose his last fight versus Alexander Volkov. Yeah. But before that, he was on a five-fight win streak, knocking Damn. people out like Walt Harris and Greg Hardy. Yeah, he's Ooh. known for uh, some some clean comeback wins, too. To, oh, he can take a hit. That's for damn sure. But Alexander Romanov is undefeated at 16-0. and 0. Oh, oh, ladies and gentlemen. He sounds like he's Russian. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, he's from Moldova. Moldova. Oh, damn. I don't. I, I think that is Russian. Couldn't fucking tell. <laughs> I couldn't tell you, baby. I think that is Russian, but. Sure. Yeah, dude. That undefeated it record is, uh, scares me in this one. I don't think uh, Marcin Tiber. I don't know, man. My, I don't know. Uh, might run to a wall on this one, man. I don't know, man. They're giving the undefeated so, fighters. kind of messed up. So you're going for, for Alexander Romanov, huh? I take it? I guess so. <laughs> yeah, let's just run through these first two because fuck it. I'm going to go Mice. Marson? Marson? Why do I keep on saying Mycin? I don't know. Mycin Todd. Bigger. Marson Todd. I like Marson, man, but he's I don't cool. know. An undefeated Russian fighter to me is always a scary. It's Moldova. Uh, we don't know if he's Russian. Moldova's Russian. How do you know this? It's in, it's in there somewhere. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's, it's in that fucking region it's, right there. It's close enough. <laughs> They're hanging out next door somewhere. Well, yeah, the guy's record proves it. It's a heavyweight banger. Let's hopefully it, it gets it to show going. Yeah. And if it doesn't, we do have an all-time legend, baby, in the yeah. featherweight division. None other way. Actually, he's in bantamweight now. Yes, sir. Well, the featherweight legend he was, mm-hmm. Jose Aldo, baby. Yes. And he's taking on another Russian, I believe, me, Rab. Yeah, he's Georgian. Ge- Ge- Georgia's? Georgian. He's from Georgia. Yeah, Georgian. Georgian. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Me, Rab. So what's all the hype on me, Rab? Because I know he's, uh, is he favored in this fight? or? Uh, I believe so. As far as I'm concerned, he is definitely favorited because he is on a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fight win streak. Damn. So he's not, yeah. he's uh, racking up the wins. And I'll think- say this, though. Six out of the seven are decisions. Yeah. Did he just finish Marlon Moraes? I think he retired Moraes. Yeah, he retired Marlon. Well, I mean, Moraes Res- was getting wrecked beforehand, yeah. so. Yeah. One punch, man. No more. I think Ozzy Aldo, if he is being, uh, if he is somehow the underdog in this one, I think it'd be a good bet on Aldo. Because uh, to be honest, I don't see how Me Rab's record shows anything great besides a solid win streak. Well, as far as I'm concerned, from what I hear, because I don't, I think, yeah, I saw him fight uh, One Punch Man being uh, Marlon Marias, <laughs> and uh, you know he's just, you know, he wrestles. He's a wrestler. Yeah. You know, and everybody thinks he's going to get the best of Jose Aldo. Yeah, is wrestling going to be good enough against uh, Jose Aldo? I don't know, man. Aldo's pretty good against wrestlers in the past. I mean, he, yeah. got, he had no problem against Chad Mendes and a couple other strong wrestlers. But, I mean, like, yeah, pe- people are really siding hard like Jose Aldo doesn't have a fucking chance against this guy. And I think it's kind of kind of ridiculous in a way. Yeah. You know, I mean, obviously the stand-up's got to be Aldo, you know, because, I mean, but he did knock out. Murab. What's all those? Murab last- did knock out uh, Mar- Marlon Marais, but as you said, everyone has been doing that. Yeah. What's uh? Do you have all those record up by any chance? Uh oh. Do I? Yeah. Of course. There we go, Steve. He's, he's on a three fight win streak. People. His last fight mm. was Rob Font, then Pedro Munoz, and then Marlon Vera. So he beat all three of those guys. Yes. So, by decision. Wow. And Marlon Vera just had a great fight last night. You know what? <clears throat> Against well, it was a good close fight, I should say. Okay, we're gonna go on a tangent right here. <laughs> we're gonna go on a fucking tangent. Here we go. He fucking Cheeto Vera fought my boy Dominic Cruz. Dominic Cruz was fucking him up for yeah. three whole rounds. Yes, he got dropped in I think every round. 
but but he was still getting his ass kicked. And Dominic then, Cruz looked amazing. He did. He just ran into a couple shots. His his movement was uh, definitely studied by Marlon Vera, and Marlon Vera was still getting caught. And I think I had to cruise up on the scorecards until that final blow to the head. Oh, you know, to kick that to the head. A, man. That was a devastating head kick. It was. It, I think it landed around the nose and just kind of yeah. obliterated. Man, yeah, dude. When when uh, Dominic Cruz stood up, just blood. Just yeah, he ran right into it. But you know. Uh, I think it was a great fight, and I think Cruz is still in the game, to be honest. And I think so too. But speaking, you know, it just shows the credit. That's why I'm, that's why I'm confused on why the fuck on the MMA, you know, why is the MMA culture thinking that Jose Aldo would lose to this guy if he's beating Marlon Vera? Mm-hmm. You know, he's being, he's on the three Rob Font, he's on the three fight win streak. Like, why would he be underdog? This and time? wasn't that a Pedro uh, Marlon Vera fight? My bad. Uh, versus Aldo, like. Kind of controversial. The Marlon Vera fight? Yeah, versus uh, Aldo. No, Aldo. I will. I think Aldo won fair and square. Yeah, don't people think Marlon? Uh, eh, maybe Marlon Vera. <laughs> 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 no, I think Aldo did fucking great in that fight, honestly. And so I, I got Aldo in this one, baby. I think he's he's gonna show if he is underdog. I might be wrong, but I think yeah. he's gonna show his worth, man. Because. Like I said, he's got Rob Font and Vera, and those guys are beasts in the Bantamweight division. Yeah. And he's got wins over both those guys. Uh, yeah. B-Grab hasn't really shown nothing spectacular to me yet, even though he has a great win streak. So um, I'm going to go with Aldo, baby. I'm going to go with Aldo, baby. I'll see it happen. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah, I'm going to go Aldo, too. Fuck it. Go with the legend. The Brazilian yeah. legend. Yeah, I'm on, why the fuck not? Hey, his, you know his striking's been looking <laughs> really clean. And, yeah. you know, I think he might be able to, he might get put on the ground a couple of times, but I don't think it's going to be a complete wrestling domination like everyone suspects, suspects it to be. Yeah, and honestly, you know, I hope it uh, sparks up the night. He's a good, all those always fun to watch. Yeah, so. hopefully any fight will spark up tonight on this fucking <laughs> fight card. <laughs> oh, this one. No, for sure. Although I think, well, as long as he doesn't get wrestled fight for three rounds, but, he'll be all right. But if that one doesn't end up doing it, I'm pretty sure... The co-main can do it. Oh. 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 Battle, battle the bods. In this one, we have uh, <laughs> Paulo Costa taking on retired, coming out of retirement, Luke Rockhold, baby. Yeah. Oh. Luke Rockhold is back. Luke Skywalker. <laughs> the force. Is the is the force strong enough in this one? We'll see, man. Because uh, uh, Paulo Costa, he's looking nasty. Even though he's coming off two losses against Marvin Vittori and the uh, former champion Israel Adesanya. I think Paula Costa might have a great chance in taking Rockwell's shin in this one. Dude. How do you feel, Steve-O? Give me, give me one second. Rockwell no. just hasn't, like, you know, he's been out for a while. He, Rockwell's coming off some vicious knockout losses. By, uh, by Blackwich and Romero. Yeah. Dude, so that's some how, heavy hitters. Yeah. Yeah. And what, uh, what else, excuse me. What, <laughs> I was thinking, yeah, what I was thinking is, like, you know, why Rockwell's coming back. What, what rink is... Freaking Dude. Paulo Costa, four, six? Okay, oh, I got six. it, baby. I, he's number six versus an unranked Unranked, so Rockhold. I don't know why Rockhold would come back and face, face another vicious heavy hitter well, in Paulo Costa because, I mean, heavy hitters have not been going so well for Rockhold's career lately. But let's think about this. To give Luke Rockhold some credit, he was a champion until he got knocked out by Bisbing. Then, Bisbing. by Bisbing. Bisbing. Hey, is, okay, that, let's go. is that supposed to mean something? Let's continue. <laughs> then he fought David Branch, who he submit or TKO'd. Um, then he lost to Romero, which is, I mean, that's you know, okay, that's he's a god, you know what I'm saying? A god yeah. amongst men, Romero. Then he so went Costa. up. Then he <laughs> <laughs> then he went up and fought Jan Blackowicz, you know what I'm saying? And got <clears throat> knocked the fuck out. So he's really only lost to people with some heavy hands, you know right. what I'm saying? That's why I'm thinking this is uh, not a good matchup for him because Viva La Loca, Ricky Martin, freaking. Paulo Costa, dude, he hits hard, dude. He cracks. He he hung in there with Rio Romero. Actually, won that battle, mm-hmm. and he just hits hard. He looks like he's in great shape. And uh, I don't know, man. I'm feeling like this is a, a nasty, another nasty KO coming for Rockhold. But for Rockhold, he on his win streak up to being a champion, he was knocking out and submitting everybody, no decisions. So yeah. you know he's got a long time ago. He's got talent though. He's got talent. I'm not he's gonna took completely... some time away from the sport. I wonder what makes him want to come back. I do know he's a. Uh, been taking some mushrooms for his training camp, so <laughs> yeah, hope, yeah, he's been training on mushrooms. It's interesting, and like I think it might, might give him a little edge in the uh, creativity aspect of it all. 
you know, but uh, do you think he's gonna fight on mushrooms? That's the question. <laughs> I don't think so. You never know, though. I mean, do you think he's just gonna like but eat like a, a stem? Just eat a big stem. Guy to, he's fighting on mushrooms. I don't know if he wants to handle a big dude like that. Honestly, dude. his best route to victory is taking him to the ground and try to grapple Paul Costa. Try to wear him out because if he's standing bang with him, he's gonna end up getting kissed just like I love you, Romero. I love you. He's gonna get kissed like <laughs> Romero did hit him, and we don't want to see another makeout sesh at the end. We want to see Luke. Fill the mushrooms, fill the force, mm-hmm. and go in there and spark Paula Acosta, make him get him hurt, take his back and smit him. That'd be Luke's path to victory. But it's a big dream, and I know the mushrooms might help him see that dream. <laughs> we'll just see if it actually becomes reality. Do you really think he could take Paula Acosta down? Like honestly, wholeheartedly. I don't know. My bet is on Paula Acosta that he's gonna go against another heavy hitter. Not a good move. He should have fought like a Sean Strickland or something like that. Uh, this is not a good fight for him. Well, I'm pretty sure they got Sean Strickland fighting Jared Cannon here now. I got Paul Acosta first round here. <laughs> no no chance, huh? No chance, bro. <laughs> no chance? Yeah, dude, uh, Strickland and Cannon is a great fight, and I think Cannon is going to break Strickland's chin on that Yeah, one, Strickland's too. a fucking That's fool. That's a bad match for him as well. But yeah, dude, who do you got on this one? This um, co-main event of the evening. You know, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't like how you're giving not, get, not giving Rockhold any love. You know, I saying no chance. Love. I gave him the mushroom force love. So if he feels the force, he'll win. <laughs> but if he doesn't, the force will fill him in the face and the chin, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's gonna feel the force and chin, dude. Or is he gonna get that submission win? I don't know. Look, I got, I got Paul Cost. If he's able to get it to the ground, sure. Um, he's got. I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna say. From his past fights and his, you know, past history, he's probably more technical. You know Definitely, what I'm saying? Yeah. He doesn't have the power. No way. His chin's gone. Well, he leaves his chin out to his, you like, know, very ho- high up uh, stance, very high straight stance. You know, hopefully he fixed that. You know what I'm saying? But Costa, yeah. he's coming off two major uh, losses, you know, versus the champ and then Vittori. Vittori, you know. So you know, this is a good spot for I think both of them to fight. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's gonna be a second round knockout. Costa. Oh, <laughs> you know, I just. You're Viva Loca. He's <laughs> <laughs> picking Ricky Martin. Damn, I didn't expect that. I thought you were going to go against him. But. Well, dude, I really. Look, I want R- Luke Rockhold to win. I really yeah. do. I don't want I do Costa too. to win. I, I actually do too, but I'm trying to be real. Yeah, and you know, to be honest, real. my real, even being real lately is winning, losing bets. So, <laughs> Rocco might not be a bad bet. You know. you know what? Part of me really wants, to, I did, I, my whole heart, my whole being wants Luke Rockhold to knock this cool. dude out. But I used to not like Rockhold, but now I'm, I'm kind of. I think he's been humbled. Yeah. Sometimes I like fighters when they get humbled. Yeah. You know? you, they Paul come, Costa's still not humbled. He thinks dude. it's the wine. Oh, my God. Honestly, that's why I want him to lose. Yeah, he thinks it's I the want wine. him to lose because I, I hate, hate hearing about his stupid tweets. What about, I hate hearing I about thought, his stupid face. Like, I don't like him, bro. He seems like a complete he arrogant with asshole. His favorite trainer, Henry Triple C. Oh so, I don't know. That's why he's like that. <laughs> Everybody that trains with him ends up oh. acting like a fucking dick. Ah, uh, it's your favorite guy. Oh my god! Please don't. He's lying, people. He's lying. <laughs> Everyone that's so you got, we got Costa. Or did I change your mind? Or you still got Costa? <laughs> no, nah, fuck that. Luke Rockhold. Oh Luke god. Rockhold. Third oh, round dude. submission. Look at that. We swayed him. <laughs> We say the boys. Look at that. Luke Rockhold, baby. Let's All go. Right. All right. No. It's time. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Good evening, baby. Good evening, baby. Let's go. We got the the second fight between Kamaru Usman versus Leon Edwards, baby. Let's go. They're finally getting a rematch. Believe it or not, Leon Edwards' last loss was actually against Usman. And that was like 11-something fights ago. Nine fights. Something like that. Yeah. Well, a, lot of, a lot of fights ago. So... He's finally getting his rematch against Usman for the title now. But we, as we know, Usman's on a dominant streak. He's actually passed, I believe, GSP for most wins in the UFC. And he's tied. He's, if he wins this fight, he'll tie for Anderson Silva. Uh, for title most, defenses or wins? UFC wins without losing, I think. Whatever. So, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> no, he's, on the, he's on the brink of becoming an all-time uh, GOAT status. So... He's working his way up, and it's hard to say that, you know. I didn't really always like Usman, but now he's shown pretty much his dominance. And now he's going to, he's basically rematching everybody he's already beat. So this is another rematch for him. Yeah. I mean, he's already beat Kobe twice, Masvidal twice. Mm-hmm. And now he can't even beat Edwards twice is the question I guess we yeah. want to figure out. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't what know. do you got on this? I just, I'm so sick of going over rematches. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so over it. Yeah, but you know, whatever. I Leon mean, we Edwards, got Marino Four coming, baby. Oh my god, dude! I swear to God, if they make no, that, f- <laughs> if 
booked. I swear it's to already God. Booked, bro. No, it's not. Yeah, it's, is it? Give me on Izzy card. Watch. Are you serious? Yeah, you'll see. Dude, but don't don't worry about that one yet. We're, we're on this. I'm one, worried. Edward. I'm sick of fucking doing rematches. Well, <laughs> we got one more for you tonight. Yeah, and it, uh, Edwards, you know, he's a great striker. We got a striker versus grappler right here. We got it. Yeah, Edwards has worked on his grappling. He's shown in his past fights. He's he's been able to take guys down and mm-hmm. elbow them. He's got some nasty elbows in the mm-hmm. clinch. Uh, Usman's got to look out for. Yeah. Well, overall, Usman's just been dominant, baby. He's been very uh, more stand-up than wrestling. You right. know, he's really worked on his stand-up, knocking out Jorge Masvidal like he did, oh, and his see. and his um, you know striking performance versus uh, Covington too, mm. which is also really good. You know, saying no disrespect to Colby Covington because he did not fight though. Dude, he, I thought he won. Yeah, so I mean, I was gonna even mention that Karma Usman's basically like. <laughs> Dominant <laughs> until he, you know, Kobe's been his only real test. Yeah. So he hasn't really been tested. And I think that's kind of shown like boring your fights besides the, uh, Mazadal knockout was great. Yeah. Well, and then he fought Gilbert Burns, you know, which was a good fight, which he was, right. almost, was which good. he was, I thought he lost the first round versus yeah, Gilbert Burns. He got Burns. tested in the first round. You know, but Kobe's the only one that really pushed him to the limits. And I mean, mm-hmm. we're, I don't, what do you think Edwards be able to push him to the limits? No. No. I'm sorry, dude. Like, his wrestling's gotten better. I don't think Usman's just going to go out there and just try to wrestle fuck him. I mm. don't see that really happening. Mm. I do see him being, I don't know. He's got to not stay on the outside with uh, Edwards, though, for sure. I disagree. I think he's going to clinch battle, and he's going to take Edwards oh. down as soon as he can. Dude. You think so? Yeah, he's going to pressure Edwards back, and he's wait for a kick, and he's going to take him down. As soon as Edwards kicks, I think he's going to go like yeah. a trigger. Yeah, like a bull. Just boom. He's going to bull rush him down. He's going to smother him. Try to submit him, do some ground and pound. He's gonna stand up, and we got and still. That's my. I'm sorry. Just, Look, uh, dude, you just took like m- the last shred of hope of this card being good. <laughs> like, dude, I'm seriously just. I think like, he's gonna dominate him, dude. I dude, think- it's gonna. Dude, I don't. I don't want to hear he's gonna wrestle. Fuck him. This like leg kick, boom, dude. Him, dude. And you know what? You're probably right. <laughs> At the rate of this card, it's probably just gonna be that. It's right. he's just gonna boring. Just take him down, wrestle him, hold him there. Because, god damn, that dude's ground and pound game is weak. Yeah, and Edwards, to be honest, he didn't, they don't really set him up well to get this fight because he's being lightweights, you know? He's being Cerrone, RDA. He's mm. being... Gunner Nelson. Gunner Nelson. Then he did try to fight uh, Balil Muhammad. Oh, the, but the don't no- remember his name? <laughs> Muhammad? <laughs> Yeah, that was a no contest. He yeah. eye poked him. Yeah, and one he, guy that was challenged him in the wrestling department. He eye pokes. <laughs> it's like, dude, so he didn't really face the the top dogs. Like, well, hey, he, he didn't get to face Kobe. He didn't get to face Mazdal, who but, gave him the fucking two piece, con- three piece in the con- in the fry in the back. <laughs> so, but he did fight Nate Diaz. Anyone? Huh? Yeah, but you, then see, he you got hear rocked, those fucking though. crickets, huh? And then he got rocked. <laughs> yeah, and then he got rocked he in got the fifth rocked. round. That was the only memorable thing of yeah. that whole fight. And Jorge gave him that three piece, baby. So it's like, mm, is he ready for the domination of Usman right now? I don't think so. I'm sorry. Nope, don't think so. I kind of like Usman's idea. We'll see if he wins because we can't count Edwards completely out. We've been wrong in the past. So I'm curious, was that fight against Nate Diaz on, on welterweight or lightweight? Welterweight. Welterweight. He's fought all these lightweights in welterweight. So yeah. So, the wins are mostly against Wildwood. So, you know what? How is he getting this title fight? Yeah, he's on a huge win streak besides the no contest. I think you know, it's just like it's almost like Islam fighting Charles Oliveira. Islam hasn't fought anybody in the top yeah. ten. I think Burns beats Edwards. Dude. I think a lot of people beats Edward, beat Edwards. Beat Edwards. So I don't. I just don't see a path to victory unless Usman just. Because there's totally no lets his guard down somehow and gets caught. I don't. I don't see a path to victory. Because Edwards, no way he's taking him down. Because no. Kobe Covington could barely take him down, even though he did land, I'd say one or two takedowns in the second fight. But yeah. even then, they were barely I'll take there. It back. If Edwards can somehow stuff all the takedowns and tire out Usman and he work his his striking, he could beat him. But it's like that's a very rare case. He really have to be just completely the uh, the offensive with the with defensive with the takedown. He has to be completely defensive with the takedowns, man. So basically, he has to play a defensive fight. And yeah. maybe, hopefully, tire him out. Yeah, but then that gets even more boring. So I'm hoping it was... So <laughs> either either way, this is going to be a boring yeah. fight. Unless he just rocks who's been with a freaking head kick and just like just gets him early. Look, the highlight of this fucking card is the co-main. 
You know what I'm saying? With Luke Rockhold submitting Paulo Costa. Ah, that's gonna, you that's, wish. That whole thing. But if we got that Aldo happens. too. Aldo's a good fight. Yeah, that's going to be fine. That's going to be know, fine. We got a couple fine. fine fights. I mean, he's not the best card of the dude, year. Dude, I'm just... Dude, so who do you have? Uzman? I got Usman, yeah. Dude. We'll go second round. Second round. Wrestle fight. yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, just Usman. I don't Who's care. The main it's, guy? We it's, don't mean to be a downer on this one. <laughs> I'm, I'm picking Usman by boring ass fight. Now, there, that's my pick. Hey, Snoozman. Yeah, dude, pick this Snoozman. This is gonna. This is oh, look. I'm sorry, everyone, but this card sucks. Oh, this card. Say, well, what do you guys think? You know what? Why, Let us know. Why are we beating around the bush here? <laughs> why are we doing this? I don't know. But like this, know, look, not why we're doing card. this. Podcast, you never know. These like, ones could end up. You know, and surprising us. You know, I've had better. There's better. There's been better fight nights recently than I think oh, this yeah, card's gonna been be. Great. Dude, the fight nights have been epic. They really have been. I mean, they've been on point, and this just really, I can't believe. Yeah, the Santos and the Hill fight. That every Dude. fight was a finish, and that there's ten fights, ten finishes, and that was a free fucking card. Yeah. That shit was amazing. Toby rubs off a little magic on this one, baby. Dude, hopefully, man. All right. But, but yeah, make sure to you know leave a comment. How boring do you think this card's going to be? <laughs> and uh, if you don't like our picks, we'll tell us who the fuck you would pick. And you know what I'm saying? Who's watching? That's what we <laughs> Who's watching? <laughs> Let <laughs> us know. And make sure to follow us here on YouTube, Devin. At MA Neighborhood. And on the IG. MA Neighborhood underscore Graham. And don't really judge us too badly on this podcast alone, because this one is a weak-ass card. And make sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, because it's not the MMA Neighborhood without you. I am mm. Steven. I'm Devin. And we will see you guys after this card. <laughs> Sorry, I missed it. <laughs>